Yeah, just a, it was a hard nosed Big Ten game, you know, a grind game, and we just you know we just couldn't make enough plays when we had chances. We had we had good looks. You know, I thought we fought really hard. Michigan made a couple big threes uh, that really hurt us, uh, it, and you know you got to give them credit. And uh, really, that was the difference in the game. I felt like we made a great comeback. We I thought you know we put ourselves in position. Uh, you know, to win the game in the last couple of minutes, we didn't panic, and you know, we just didn't, we just couldn't finish it out. And, you know, like I said, Michigan did a pretty good job taking care of the ball at the end, making free throws. And go ahead, got out. Um, Coach, what would what made uh, Michigan's center Hallie Thom so tough to stop with her with her size? Well, she's six five. She averages, you know, she's probably, you know, she's left-handed. That helps sometimes. Just keeps you off balance. And I think more than anything, you know, she has just really good around the basket of finishing. You know, she's got good hands. Michigan does a good job of getting her the ball uh, because they can shoot. You know, because they got a lot, of, a lot of shooters. You know, it's hard to double off them and try. We did a better job at times, but she's a really good player. She's a freshman um, that's having a great year. And, uh, you know, so you got to, you know, if we play them again, we got to do something different. What did Michigan do early third quarter to turn that five-point halftime lead into a 12, 13-point advantage? Made shots. You know, they made shots, and then we got cold. Uh, you know, they, they hit some tough shots. They hit some end of, uh, end of clock shots. And, uh, you know, just kept us off balance. And, but I thought we did a pretty good job of not letting that go from 10 or 12. You know, we battled back and, and um, like I said, gave us a chance to win. Uh, Coach, you've been clear throughout the season you believe Ashley Deary is one of the Say best. Say it again. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You've been clear throughout the season you believe Ashley Deary is one of the best point guards in college basketball. How do you think the Big Ten record she set tonight speaks to that? Well, you heard, you heard Ashley. We're not, you know, she didn't come here for records. She came here to win. And that's, that's what... Um, and to be part of a winning tradition. So I think that's more important to her. Uh, those things are byproducts that, you know, uh, really good teams. And I think we've been a really good team since she's been here. Um, you know, we've had some ups and downs. You know, don't pay attention to stats and those type individual awards. But, uh, you know, I think that's what – that's not something that she's focused on, if that makes sense. Coach, you guys, despite being a very good shooting team overall, you've struggled from the free throw line this season. Again, tonight it was just 9 of 15. Do you think there's anything that you've noticed in the free throws that speaks to maybe there's something mechanically wrong, or is it just simply shots aren't falling? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, greatest coach I ever met, Red Auerbach. And I will tell you this. We used to ask him if people go to the foul line and cross themselves, you think that helps them? And he said, yeah, if they're a good free throw shooter. And, you know, if you're a good free throw shooter, uh, you're going to make them, you know. I mean, we have some evolving. We have some that got to get better. We got some that are really good. Like, you, you know, you want Maggie Lyon at the line at the end of the game. You want Kristen M and those guys. I mean, they've proven over the last three, four years that they can make pressure free throws, big free throws. Um, but that's something that's been a little, you're right, it's been an Achilles for us. And, uh, you know, it's, it's something that as we move forward into the Big Ten tournament that, uh, you know, we're, we're doing a good job attacking the basket. So, you know, you're going to get fouled. So, you know, you got you to take advantage of that. It's something we're going to focus on this week. Next time. Last question. No, we're good. We're good. I'm yeah, can you just talk a little bit about what you saw from Nia Coffey when shots weren't falling and when uh, you guys started going cold, like you said, just the energy that she had on both ends of the floor? Yeah, she still, you know, she still rebounded, you know, blocked shots, um, got us out in transition, tried to get to the rim. You know, she uh, was playing against, a, you know, three or four different defenders, some junk defenses that were geared to stop her. And I thought she, uh, you know, she handled all those pretty well. And... Um, let me say this too. I would I'd be remiss not to. I heard you guys, you know, ask questions about, you know, our seniors and Maggie and I. You know, 
hopefully we'll play here again. Uh, but, you know, those guys have just done a great job for us in heart and soul of turning this program, the culture of it from, you know, program to finish last in the Big Ten every year was the laughing stock of the league uh, when we got here to one that, you know, was in the NCAA tournament last year, is in the top 20 this year. We're in every game. So, you know, I'm really proud of those four. And, um, y you know, I think when you look back a couple years from now, we we'll just look at that group and realize how much they've done, you know, and the big picture of, of changing this program. And, you know, for Maggie, just and uh, and Kristen and and uh, and and Tessa and Knopf, you know they they just mean a lot to Northwestern. All right, thank you guys.